in this session, I'm going to walk you through how to effectively code into the nodes, both a structured um, coding framework system and also open codes area. Now, when you open your project and Vivo gives you this top level folder called nodes, which is obviously the themes. So in here, it's empty and it's actually best for you to separate the thematic coding framework that you know you are dealing with in your research investigation and then let all other themes that you're not very sure where they should stay goes into the open codes area. In fact, if you are pursuing grounded, if you're grounded theorist, you would spend all your time coding into the top level open codes and later on you can then cluster them and reorganize them and make them into a thematic coding framework or hierarchical system. So to just set you off with this example so you have an idea as to how you would go about it, especially those of us who are not grounded theorists. So you go into the notes area and create a subfolder and call it thematic coding framework as I have done here. Now what I have done, I definitely know that I'm going to gather evidences from the transcript about economy and also I want to capture the attitude of the speakers on issues that they will talk about, whether it be positive, negative, mixed, but I'm starting off with a very basic um, um, sub-themes and of course other sub-themes will come through as I go through transcript by transcript. So this is what I have done. I've created two top level themes, attitude and economy and introduced in each two or three sub-themes to get started. So let me take you around to a transcript and show you how you will code into this structure as well as the open codes area. So back into my sources, I will open the interview transcript and I will open Badra, for example. And of course, I need to replace this list with my theme, so you click on the notes. And in here, you have access to the open codes area and also the thematic. So I'll open the thematic coding, hoping that whatever Barbara is going to see, I may be able to capture some and put them in the thematic coding. And if it doesn't fit, I would then put them in the open codes and wait till I've gone through all the transcript um, and found out exactly what people are saying so I can then rehouse them into this thematic coding framework. So I'm not going to be very critical about um, the, the reading and the interpretation of Barbara's transcript. I'm going to start with the first um, response that Barbara gave. So here Barbara is leading on to say that she was practically born here. And of course, I want to call this into uh, products of the community or community belonging, you know, that is the key words that just flood into my head. So I'll capture that because I know that it will go through a lot and a lot of refinements eventually. So here I want to call this as a, a product of the community. Now looking at my thematic structure, which I've set here, there is nothing called community. And I don't want to start creating more and more without thinking about them. So I need to now jump over to the open codes area. And here I can create a temporary node called community belonging and then drag and drop into it or I can right mouse click and code into. So let me just visually do it by creating a new theme, call it community belonging. And then I can highlight this, which I've already highlighted, click hold and then drag the text into the community belonging. So I have done that and you can see that one reference from one, one source, Barbara's um, um, source. 
Now, looking also back into the text, I can see and recall some of the um, making believe from my own experience that you're talking to somebody and when they're very passionate about Barbara, almost you're taking Barbara through um, her memory lane, as it were. So her eyes are dilated and she's so very happy about it. So I want to capture the fact that she's so proud to be part of this community. Now I'll check with my thematic structure and here we go. I'm ready to um, gather the attitude um, so I can interpret this particular Barbara's attitude towards how she described the memory lane of her, you know, um, being the child in this community and schooling in here. So I think she's very proud and therefore I will pick up this information and interpret it as Barbara being very positive about belonging to this community. So I've coded that into positive attitude. Remember the same information I can go back and make sure that if there is any other ideas that are flooding through I can also code it. In fact I just want to look at what, whether the education system in that community is good and I think any community that can actually produce or prepare a child for university is of a sufficient education. So I want to register that here in the open code just because I don't have it in the thematic coding system. So I will create a new node and call it good education or whatever. The naming will go through some refinements so you don't need to get to hang on over that. So here I have coded it into education and I do not have to code it again into positive because it's already there. So if I wanted to do any cross-referencing, this same information would say that Barbara is so proud to belong to this community and also she thinks the education is very good. So that's what is happening. This is how you code into a structure system that you know you can set up, you know, set up with and code into it and also code into the open codes where a lot and a lot of ideas will bubble up and eventually you can end up with about a thousand different ideas and of course you then begin to cluster them which I can show you later how you cluster them using the color and then rehouse them. Um, so I hope this will be, you find this useful in organizing your system for coding.